Come on down to the watering hole. There is plenty to eat. But if you can't reach the low hanging fruit, well then just grow a longer neck so you can reach the high up leaves. But be careful because there are carnivores prowling about. And if you can't get enough to eat, well then you're gonna have to evolve in Evolution, which was designed by Dominic Krabichets, Dimitri Noor, and Sergei Mation, and published by Northstar Games. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph. We're here with Board Game Geek, and today's In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek store. Well, it's time to forge for some food, so let's get this game down to the table and go in focus on evolution. In evolution, you will be creating species, giving them adaptations and growing in numbers, all in order to eat as much food as possible. Food equals success and will be your victory points. Every round, players will draw three cards plus one for every species they have in front of them. From the cards in your hand, secretly choose one to go to the watering hole. These cards will be revealed later and will change the amount of available food that round. Now it's time to play your cards. You can use your cards to do many things. By discarding cards, you can start a new species or increase your body size to protect against predators or increase your population to eat more food. And of course, you can adapt your species. Each species can hold three different traits all to help them thrive. Certain traits will help you eat more easily. For example, every time a species with foraging takes food, they will take two tokens instead of one. Fat tissue allows you to store excess food up to its body size and warning call may help you protect your other species from predators. Life is good down at the watering hole, but what if food becomes scarce? After players have all played cards, we move to the feeding phase. Cards left in the watering hole are flipped over to reveal how much food will be added or removed from the watering hole. From here, players will take turns taking a food and placing it onto one of their hungry species. And any applicable traits will be used at this time. A species will only eat if their population is higher than the amount of food on it. The feeding phase will continue until all hungry species have eaten or the food runs out, resulting in a shortage. If a species cannot eat to their population level, they lose population down to the amount of food they were able to eat. If food at the watering hole becomes too hotly contested, you can become a carnivore and attack the other species, including your own. Carnivores can successfully attack a species if they have a bigger body size, but must watch out for defensive traits that may cause them injury or thwart their attack. Carnivores can add traits such as ambush to overcome the card warning call. An attacked species will lower their population by one and the carnivore will take meat tokens equal to the attacked species body size. If ever a species population is lowered to zero, they go extinct and you will draw trait cards equal to the amount on the species lost. The game then begins another round and play will end once the deck empties at which point the player with the group of species who has eaten the most wins. Evolution is a colorful burst of scientific satisfaction, and with all the different adaptations, you can get your species to work together, protecting each other and encouraging growth. But you have to manage your species well to protect against predators, and you want your population to be big because you get more points, but that's more mouths to feed, and you really don't want to starve in the game. Basically, in this game, you're gonna have to constantly evolve. And if Evolution seems like a game you might enjoy, make sure to check out its page on Board Game Geek and check out a review. And if you wanna upgrade your next game night, make sure to check out the Board Game Geek store. Until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We're here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Evolution. Have a great day.